Horror is a genre in anime that's kinda hard to do. Obviously there are horror anime out there, but the good ones are kinda few and far between. A lot of the horror anime is alright and it's just... Honestly, most of the horror anime is just not bad. And the anime Another falls into the horror category of anime. Now, obviously, it has its issues, and it's obviously not the best anime out there, but I would say that Another is a good gateway anime, meaning that for people first getting into anime, it's a pretty good one to start off watching. So, without further ado, why don't we just dive right on into what the anime Another is and just what it's all about. So, the story follows Koichi Sasakibara, who recently moved from Tokyo to a town called Yomiyama, and is about to attend Yomiyama North Junior High, but is currently in the hospital with a collapsed lung. There, three of the students from his class visit him, and things seem kinda off, but eventually they leave, and he eventually meets Mei Misaki, a girl who is just kinda downright weird and is just off, but it intrigues him nonetheless. Eventually, he goes to school and things are just completely off. For starters, it seems that no one is telling him anything, and the second thing that just kinda weirds him out is that everyone seems to ignore Mei Misaki, like he's the only one that can see her. So as the story goes on, you find out more things and the mystery just continues onward. At some point, Koichi thinks that he's the only one that can see Mei and that she may in fact be a ghost. But he eventually finds out that's not really the only thing he has to worry about as there's a curse, or rather a phenomenon, that happens with the class that he's currently in, that being class 3 of 9th grade, and what happens is every year, for some reason, once a month, a student dies, and this is the result of somebody being dead, returning back to life, so to speak. No one knows who the dead person is, and as a result, causes this phenomenon, which, as mentioned earlier, results in the death of those connected to the class, such as the students, the teachers, and the family members of the students and the teachers. And this phenomenon happens every year, and it's been happening every year for about 25 years straight. Some years, it doesn't happen and nobody dies, but most years it happens and a number of the students and or faculty that are involved with that class end up dying. And it just so happens that this year, it's happening again, and a lot of people die, and oh boy, this... They die in some horrific ways, and our boy Koichi is there to see all of it. Eventually, he figures everything out with Mei, and the two try to stop this calamity, so to speak, from happening, or try to stop it from continuing onward as, you know, people have already died, such as students, and just people connected to students in general. Now, as the story goes on, Koichi and Mei, along with a few other students, throughout the rest of the series learn more about the phenomenon, and they eventually learn how to stop it. But along the way, they lose a good number of people and some horrific ass deaths. Whether they be accidents, illnesses, or just whatever the fuck, there are some gruesome fucking deaths, I can tell you that for sure. Such as something piercing someone's throat and them bleeding out to death. Not once, but twice to two different characters, and both are equally gruesome. And nearing the end of the anime, obviously they find a way to stop the phenomenon, and that way involves to send a person who's dead that nobody knows is dead, even them, they don't know they're dead, and send them back to death, meaning just to kill the person that is dead who was brought back to life. So if they off that other person, everything will be alright and the phenomenon will stop that year. But near the end of this anime is where shit just gets out of hand. So they go on a class trip to try and fix this, but... While they're at this class trip, and they're at a lodge, everyone pretty much just goes batshit insane and everything is just going crazy. So a fire starts and it turns out that a killer is on the loose and eventually everyone finds out that they have to kill the person who is dead in order for this to all be fixed. And everyone thinks that the person they need to kill is Mei Misaki, pretty much Koichi's girl. And obviously he's like, nah, I gotta protect her. So it's pretty much Koichi just trying to protect Mei from all these insane motherfuckers trying to kill his girl. 
Along the way, people die some pretty gruesome deaths while other people go insane just murdering people so that they don't die. But everything gets resolved and the extra person who was brought back to life is offed and the phenomenon ends up stopping that year. But not after a turn of events that just offed a bunch of people in some horrific ways. Now that was the story in a nutshell, you know I left some spoilers out, but overall this anime it's, I would give it like maybe a 6, 6.5 out of 10. I would say it's a good gateway anime. That if you haven't really seen many other anime before, then you, you should go watch this. But if you've seen a lot of anime, then you, you might not find this so good. You'll probably just find it all right. It's pretty much just Final Destination, the anime, where people just die in horrific ways that you don't really care about. At the start, it has an interesting premise, and you don't really know what to expect, but towards the middle and towards the end is where shit just gets out of hand. In the middle, it's relatively acceptable. You can see why that happened for the story to progress, but near the end, oh boy, that uh, <laughs> none of that shit needed to happen. Some of them characters went insane for no reason. Shit was happening because shit just needed to happen for the story to progress and finally end. When it comes to the characters, besides the main two and a couple of the other side characters, you don't really care who dies. Obviously, for an anime that's all about death and just murking off its characters, it's hard for the story to make you care about the characters that are inevitably going to die. But even with the main character Koichi, there's problems. He's pretty much just a plot device for the audience to learn what's happening and what the mystery is all about. Pretty much all he does throughout the anime is just ask questions and learn what's going on. That's, that's about it. But what I do like about the anime is the dynamic between Koichi and Mei as they are sort of set up as a romantic item, but not really. But I honestly wanted to see them get together. I was kind of hoping for that, but that isn't what this anime is about, as I can understand that. Which, it's all about the mystery, and at the beginning, the mystery is interesting. You don't know what's going on, but like I said, towards the middle and towards the end, it just kind of starts to go downhill. It's, like I said, shit just happens and it kind of brings the anime down a bit. But I also really like the music, as it sets the tone with it being eerie and dark at some points but also really dramatic at others. I also really enjoy the opening to this anime, and I would say it's honestly a banger, as I didn't skip it one time. But with that, that's pretty much another in a nutshell. So I would say that if you're an anime fan and you haven't seen this, then go watch it, and if you're trying to get into anime and you want to watch a good one, or just, you know, get into more anime, then go watch another. And hell, even if you have seen it, go watch it again, because it is a pretty, it's a, it's a pretty rewatchable anime, if I say so, because I think this was like the third time I watched it. And not gonna lie, it's kind of a guilty pleasure anime for me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want some dope channel merch. The links that will be down in the description below. And if you want to see more of me, be sure to go check out my other channels. Go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, which will all be linked down below. But with that, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.